Hi, I'm Kerry Lord from Toft. This video forms part of a series to accompany the Edwards Crochet kits, patterns and books. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about your yarn label on your Toft yarn um, and why it's important to um, read that information and possibly keep it for future reference. So if you get your um, ball of yarn, whether you've bought it as a ball of yarn or coming out of a kit, each ball of yarn will have a label attached and it's quite an unusual um, label that we have here at Toft. Um, what you need to do to remove the label off your ball is to take the cardboard piece and just pass it through the loop and your label should come off just like that. Now why we've chosen to do these very unusual yarn labels is because you can then keep these pieces for your future reference. So each ball of yarn that you have will give you your information about your colour, your batch and your weight of yarn on that. And then you can keep these little bits for future reference. Um, you can always put it back onto your scrap of yarn, which is really useful. So say you've made a project and you've only used half of one of those balls, you can reattach this label back on and that way you can go back to it in future and know exactly which batch you're matching. Um, so once you've taken that off, I'll just talk you a little bit through um, what's on the label. So this here will tell you which weight of yarn it is. Um, this has come off a chunky batch of yarn. Here at Toft we have um, four main weights. So the chunky um, is the thickest. You then have an Aran, a DK, which is our standard weight that you'll see most commonly, and then a fine um, as well. And then this here at the bottom is the most important bit. Um, so in this white small piece, at the top here is the colour, so this has come off um, a batch called Shale. Um, so we have quite a colour range, mainly focusing on naturals in the top range, with six bright pops of colour, um, and this is Shale. And then the number beneath it is actually the batch number um, that we've spun. So Toft, is we're an independent British yarn company. We spin in medium sized batches, so they're not very, very small um, and they're not huge. In a given year, we probably would have um, two or three different batch numbers of yarn that have gone through. Now, um, that number is essential if you want to absolutely match the colour in future. So here I've got two balls of Toft Steel Aran, um, and these, to the eye, um, I, I really myself would struggle to see the difference between these two colours, which is a good thing. Um, that's what we want, obviously. Um, we want continuity between our colours more than anything. Um, batch to batch, we want them to be as identical as possible. Um, but there probably will still be a slight variance in them. This is because it's a natural product. Um, so it is a pure wool yarn. Um, and there will be variance in slight variance in the quality and the colour um, when it is spun together. So if you want to absolutely guarantee, say you were going to knit a jumper, um, you want to know that if you're going to knit that jumper, the balls of yarn will be exactly the same colour. Um, so you need to make sure that you match your batch numbers. These are two different batches here. Um, this is the more recent one. This is the original one. And you, you would struggle and be very easy to be think that they were the same colour because they say the same thing. So that's why batch number is so important, um, especially in these natural colour blends um, like the greys. Then when you look at your yarn label, there's a few other things um, to really um, pay attention to, is the fact that it is a 100% wool. So unless it states otherwise, um, the yarns will be 100% wool. Um, Pure wool and really, really fine quality um, Falklands Merino, really, really soft handle. Um, it's all made here in the UK, so our yarn is spun in Yorkshire. Um, again, unless it states otherwise. So say this label, if we turned it over, said it was 100% alpaca. Um, it might again say made in the UK, but our alpaca tends to be spun um, in different locations. So it could have been spun in Cornwall, etc. If you ever want more information on that, you can see it on that specific yarns page on our website. Then the next thing you've got along there is um, approximately 110 metres on this Aran to 100 grams. Um, and I'll explain why it says approximately. Um, this isn't because it's um, accidental or um, that everything's a bit, a bit haphazard. It's actually approximate because wool is very, very clever. Um, wool is a natural product that absorbs water and absorbs moisture. So at the point at which this yarn was turned from a cone on that machinery into this ball of yarn, it will have been an absolute exacting standard of temperature and humidity. And at that temperature and humidity, this ball of yarn is exactly 110 meters 
um, to 100 grams of weight. But if I took this ball of yarn um, and I put it on top of my radiator and I left it there for a week and then I weighed it afterwards, um, it could be as light as maybe 94 grams. If I um, alternately put it in my bathroom, um, on the side of my bathroom while I was maybe having a, sh a few, few weeks worth of showers um, and there was quite high humidity in that room, you might find the ball gets as heavy as 110 grams. Um, so wool absorbs the moisture and um, the humidity from the air. That's why it says approximate and that's why if you, um, occasionally you will weigh your yarn um, when you get it in, so um, you'd weigh a whole ball, it might come up slightly short or slightly longer than it states on that label. That is due to the humidity in the air, um, which is really, really interesting. It's a nice geeky experiment that you can enjoy if you want to, um, but it is really interesting how much um, it absorbs moisture from the air. The last instruction really is to hand wash and dry flat. Um, and this is because um, our your wools and yarns are not super wash yarns. Um, they, it means that you, the best way of caring for them is to hand wash them um, or machine wash them on a wool cycle. Now, when you um, are knitting with something, um, you'd also be drying that flat, which is where that instruction comes from, because say we were going to knit a lovely shawl with this or a jumper, um, we would then hand wash that and dry it out flat on a mat to get the best results. Um, but if you are crocheting animals, and that's what we're talking about when we're using this yarn in this um, circumstance, there's no need to dry it flat, don't panic about that. Use a polyester stuffing inside your animal. So crochet um, your animal up, use a polyester stuffing, and then you'll be able to hand wash that or machine wool cycle wash that, no problem. Um, and you don't have to worry about drying it flat. You can peg it on the line, and um, just don't peg it by tail or ear, because um, you might find it gets a little bit longer during that drying po process. Um, the lovely thing about the, the yarns is they're super soft to work with, um, and they get better with age. So the more that you um, handle them, the more that you, um, the animals get played with, they'll just get softer um, and feel amazing over time.